assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make this hijab if you are just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more videos like this so but basically what we need for this tutorial is one yard of fabric three yards of trimmings my scissors my tape so let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabrics into two after which i'm going to cut out my ruffle so to do that now i'm just going to take five and a half inches at that edge i'm just going to take five and a half inches i'm going to take it down After which I'm going to cut it out. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to cut that into two. This is too long for our ruffle. So I'm just going to cut it into two in order to have a long strand for our ruffle. So what we're going to do to this now is just to join the two pieces together. So I cut it already. I'm just going to put it aside. So coming to our real hijab piece now, I folded my fabric into two after which I'm going to fold it into four. Then the next thing we are going to do is to insert our head circumference. My head circumference is 20. And since the fabric is folded into four, so that's 20 divided by four, so that's five inches. I'm just going to mark five inches there at the folded edge. Then from that five inches, I'm just going to make a slant line to the last edge. Of my fabric and if you want the same length that i used this is about 20, 27 inches the slanted line is about 27 inches so after making the slanted line i'm just going to come up at that edge by one inch after which i'm going to take the midpoint of my down parts and I'm going to make a slight curve from that one inch to the midpoint there. And this is to give our hijab a, beauty a beautiful curve at the down parts. So I'm just going to cut it out. So after cutting that is what we are going to have so when you open it up you have this so the next thing i'm going to do is just to come to that edge and i'm just going to open it up <laughs> so what we're going to do to this piece now is just to join the two sides So I pinned it down. I'm just going to put it aside. Then for my remaining piece, I'm just going to cut out my jab cap. So I folded it into four. Then at the longer piece edge, I'm going to take 10 inches, which is my head circumference divided by two. Then at the other part, I'll take four inches, which will be for my jab width. So I'll just make a cuff and just cut that out. So I stitched that already. So on the right side, this is what we are going to have. So the next thing is just to join our trimmings to our hijab cap. So I'll just take the trimmings to that side and I'm just going to pin it down. So 
So when I get to the last stage, I'll just trim off the hesses. So I'll just take this to my sewing machine now and then sew on it. So I did that already. I made two stitches on it to secure it. So the next thing is to fix our hijab cap. So I jab. So to do this now, I'm going to take the midpoint of my head circumference. And I'm going to notch it. So after taking that, I'll take the midpoint of my cap also. So I'm just going to place it together, right side facing each other. And I'm going to pin it. So after painting it, this is what we're going to have. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine now and then make my stitches on it. I'm just going to stitch on it. So I did that already. So the next thing now is to form our pleats. So to do that, I'm going to come from that edge and I'm going to come down by seven inches. That's where I want my pleating to stop. So to form my pleats now, I'll just come to the folded edge and I'm going to start forming pleats. Then after forming one pleat, I'll form the other one and I'm going to secure the two together with the straight pin. After which I'm going to form another one. Then with the previous one, I'm going to secure it together with a straight pin. And I'm just going to continue like that till I get to my 7 inches I marked. So I'll just continue forming pleats. So I got to my 7 inches already. I'm just going to secure that last pleat to the 7 inches point. After forming our pleat, this is what we're going to have. So we'll just do the same to the second side. So after doing that, I have this. I'll just take it to my sewing machine and then make a stitch on it. So I did that already. The next thing is to take the circumference of the down part of our hijab. So you just take your tape over it and just take the circumference of the down part. So for mine is about 62 inches. So I want to gather my rough for now. So I have a thread that I passed to my needle that is about 62 inches. So what I'm just going to do is just to start making my gathers. So I'm just going to use the needle and the thread to just gather my ruffle up. And this is easy for me because I get the exact amount of ruffle that I need. So I did that already. I gathered it all. That's still my needle hedge. So I used up the whole thread. So what I'm going to do now is to take my hijab piece. And this is at the right side. So I'll just take my ruffle, the right side of it, right side facing each other. And I'm going to start attaching it to it. So I'll just start pinning it. And I'll pin it all around. So I did that already. So what I'm going to do now is just to sew on it. To secure my ruffle to my jab, so I'm just going to sew it round. So after sewing it, this is what we are going to have. So the second to the last thing we are going to do is to attach our trimmers to it, and I'm going to attach these at the joining of my jab to my ruffle. And this will enable 
us to cover up the joining parts well. So I'll just attach it to the joining parts of the jab and ruffle and I'll just pin it all down. After which I will take it to my sewing machine and then sew on it. So we'll just continue. So I did that already and I take it to my sewing machine and I sew on it. Then I use an interlocking machine to give the edge of my ruffle a finishing touch. You can end it if you don't have an interlocking machine. You can hem the down parts. So this is the finished look of my job. Please, if you find this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Endeavor to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.